you were to go to Argentina, um, you you would have a pretty good experience. You wouldn't have very much trouble finding your way around. The people are always very helpful. If you need help finding a, where a place is, you can just stop on the side of the street and ask somebody, una consulta, like say, I, I have a question, or can you, can you help me with something? And they're very, very helpful in pointing you in the right direction wherever you need to go. Um, as far as safety, we were in pretty safe areas, but we were also sisters. The elders I know had some little more dangerous areas. Um, there are lots of people that are under the influence of alcohol, and they're pretty much just, they, they keep to themselves. Um, they usually won't bother you or anything, and you, you know to just, I mean, kind of stay away from those places where they're probably hanging out. But for the most part, it's very, very safe. We, as sisters, we, we never got mugged on the mission, never had a problem with that. So most of the transportation in Argentina is done by bus or by walking or by bike. They also have lots of motorcycles and scooters down there and small cars. We saw very, very little trucks. Um, there were trucks and other vehicles way down south, like in Pico Truncado and areas like that. But um, the majority of the people just get, a, get along by bike or, or scooter. Um, us as missionaries, we took the, the bus whenever we could to get to different areas that were a lot farther in the mission just to save time. And if you get on a bus, there's just a little card that you, you charge at different um, stores and you put money on it and then get on the bus and then swipe your card. And then usually the bus driver will take off before you get in the seat, so you kind of have to hang on whenever you get on. So down there they kind of have their different um, foods and items separated into different names. So like a panderia is where you would find bread and things like that. And then carniceria is where you would find meat. And then uh, supermercado, that's where you would do your normal grocery shopping. And so the people kind of have everything separated down there, which is, it's pretty nice.